Hi campers. This is a short video on the joy of making stuff. I'm in my garage. It's late May 2020. Uh, I'm wearing my grubby clothes and I'm working on a project that um, I've been doing at night and over the weekend, slowly making a table. This is uh, just the legs of the table. Uh, I've got a top uh, that I'm working on separately and I'm going to put it together. I created this table because I needed one to be able to broadcast these videos to you from home. Um, I have an office and it's really dark and it doesn't really work and I've got a, I'm lucky enough that I've got a spare bedroom that I'm going to use for um, my online classes. So this is the table that when you're watching this video you're probably, uh, it's all finished and I'm using it for my class. So I needed a table. I could have just went out and bought one and um, that probably would have made more economic sense. I spent just a few dollars really on the materials, just pine and plywood, but I've spent a way more uh, effort to design and create it. And I do that because I really enjoy making stuff. I've always enjoyed making stuff. I make, make stuff when I was a little kid. I was around adults who made things, so uh, I was lucky that way. Now. The reason why I'm showing you this is because I want to give you the idea that when you make something, you don't have to have the final idea done. So this is a nearly final table. I've, I've got to paint it and put the, 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 table, the tabletop on it. But I've been working on this for a while and I made a bunch of drawings. I've worked on uh, little sample versions with tape and cardboard but I've tried to work out little parts of it, like how the legs fit together and how they hold up the top and how I'm going to assemble it in what order. So I've spent a bunch of time before this stage figuring out how to get it to this stage. So we call that prototyping. We use prototypes as a early version of a thing we're trying to make and the prototype is a way for us to ask questions like, should I have this surface above that surface? Should I?" Uh, have a button here to turn the, the object on or off? Should I make it short and wide or tall and skinny? Uh, all these ideas that um, when we are done will be more obvious, but until we have an example, a physical artifact, uh, it's hard to know. So we're making prototypes and I'm uh, trying to encourage you that not only is it useful, it makes sense for the design process, but it actually can be fun. So for me, that it is. I, I really enjoy making things. It allows me to be quiet. It allows me to think at another level. It allows me to step away from a computer that's uh, calling my attention all the time. So this is, for me, a pleasure, but also a great professional skill because it allows me to get the idea out of my head and into physical reality, and then I can see, well, maybe that is a good idea or not. So we're going to ask to make we're going to ask you to make prototypes in the camp. We're going to, not out of wood like this, but out of cardboard, uh, tape, uh, things you find around the house, all sorts of um, quick, easy ways to make things, which is really important because you want to iterate. You want to try out your ideas quickly and see whether they make sense. Um, we're going to do that uh, at a couple levels, and uh, I hope that this little video gives you an idea, one, that that's me. I enjoy making this kind of stuff, but two, um, it's a way for you to express yourself and to be creative. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'll see you in camp. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to get back to my enjoyment, which is to work on this table some more. Have a nice day. My video desk is done. I'm sitting at it recording a short uh, little message. I'm very happy. I'm Got what I needed. I built a table and I added this big bracket around it. You can see that big metal bracket uh, from a company that makes parts that are easy to bolt together. Uh, I also bought some lights, extra lights. So this is my tool for making educational videos. I'm very happy. Uh, it solves a problem for me, which was when I make videos for classes, um, I can get ideas, I get really excited, and then I have to set up a camera and I have to figure out where the light is and the, just a lot of rigmarole. And what will happen is I'll get excited and then I'll also get distracted by a whole bunch of technical setup junk. So I decided to treat myself. I solved a problem. I had this idea that if I had a little place where I could most of the time leave it set up, you know, the, the table anyway, 
um, that I could more easily do what I needed to do, which is make videos. So I did it. This is in the corner of uh, a bedroom that used to be our son's bedroom when he was living with us, grew up and lived with us. He's now graduated from college and got a job living on his own. So um, we have a ironing board, which is our little cat perch. We also use it as an ironing board, but um, this little corner of our house. Uh, also as part of this uh, setup, I have this overhead uh, camera here. It's um, perhaps overkill for the top job, but I can, now I can have a workspace where I, overhead where I demonstrate how to use things like a circuit playground. Uh, I'm going to make a video for Mesa later today on how to make cardboard prototypes. So I'm getting that all ready. And uh, basically I can do my creative activity without uh, a lot of extra stuff. I mean, obviously I paid the price now by doing the design, coming up with the technology and um, making it ready to go, but now that it's ready to go. So you certainly don't need anything like this to participate in Invention Bootcamp or to take classes online. This is because I'm trying to create videos that I can share and I have to do that a lot as well as just be present online um, in this new format. So uh, there you have it. I thought I'd share a little bit of my life and uh, how things work around here. So we'll see you in another video.